All right, everyone. Welcome to the Spoiler Kings. My name is Tank Kramer. I'm with Brand Man Brandon, Brian the Grizzly, and we just got some news uh, a few days in now. We have our first look at the new Crow reboot with Bill Skarsgård. Uh, let me bring him up. <laughs> but first reactions. Uh, before we get into Brandon, because I know he's got some feelings about this one. Uh, well, what, what do you think, no, Brian? Can I have a disclaimer first? Before we get into this, understand this. This is t- when Tank, t- Tank loves the Crow. Oh, yeah. Loves the crow. Like they, he's an all time like huge fan of the crow, right? I just bought the the 4K box uh steelbook thing that released. And this one loves it too. Like it's one yeah. of those those things that they think is like off the off the top. Off, so great, right? So I'm I am going to let you guys just understand that. And I thought the crow yep. was fine. It's good. Yeah, I, I recognize it's good. I was like, but it's not that's mm-hmm. in my cup of tea. But I, I have feelings the crow. about this. I have feelings about what the hell that we just saw. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> what we're looking at. Dressed up as him for Halloween in fifth grade, too, by the way. How many Me times too. you said? Me too. Was, <laughs> I did, too. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know if it was fifth grade. grade, but it was like it was somewhere fifth, sixth, or somewhere around there. Me, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I wind up looking like Sting instead, okay. but. <laughs> like Sting. <laughs> But glad yeah, Sting looked like the crow anyway, so yeah, yeah, both. that works. I, I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right. Um, so you got any quick things about this, Brian? <laughs> besides that, I think this is awful. <laughs> it is awful, but I want to hear what Brandon had to say. This yeah. I thought that this was just so disrespectful. And I'm not even a huge like fan. That's why I was trying to say, like, you guys are huge fans. I'm not even a huge fan, and I'm like Really? This is where we went with this, and and, and someone signed off on this. Mm. Really? Like, did yeah. you watch it? Oh, real, real quick. There, there's, there's, <laughs> there's <laughs> nice. You do like Sting and the Crow? Like you? Really yeah. over, I can see it. <laughs> I see both the way. That's, that's awesome. That's, yeah, and that was maybe that was maybe like seventh or eighth grade, maybe. But yeah. So. Oh man. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, Brandon. Oh, bring it up. All right. What do you think about this one, man? Get him. So my first question is, um, is this the crow or is that gr- or is this that girl from Chappie, first and foremost? <laughs> you know, <laughs> friggin' friggin' post Malone looking face ass over here, friggin' Cross Malone. Dude looks like every freaking SoundCloud rapper combined. This man looks like his like his like his hero is Jared Leto's Joker. This looks like a freaking guy that you went to high school with and dropped out, and now you see him at the local gas station. Now he tries to ask you for Swishers because they won't allow him in the gas station anymore. I bet this guy worships the Island Boys as his own personal deity. Looks like a freaking struggling um, works for a struggling tree cutting service, and now he's addicted to Xanax. He probably pleasures himself for little Pete's Instagram pictures, too. I actually feel like I saw this guy, like, tweaking on the Metro Mover and on the, my, on the beach when I was in Miami for work last month. What is this? <laughs> oh, man. I know on ab day, he, he didn't, he didn't uh, finish the, the entire workout. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Shit. You finished the leg lifts, bro. <laughs> That's so sad. Oh man, I mean, the dude looks like like if you walk downtown Chicago, you see a bunch of dudes like this in the in the train station, like the underground train stations. Like there's some like junkies like this. So you go in, in any major city, really, right? I mean, oh, but it's like he's from he's from Oregon in the, in the 1990s, you know. Yeah, like literally, no. You, why you have a, a winter coat on with no no shirt? I don't even understand what's going on right now. Yeah, and your that? nipples look cold. You probably should cover. Yeah. Those up. <laughs> also, this is one of the worst tattoos I've ever seen. What the fuck is this? Like, what? yeah, is the, is the nipple supposed to be the eye, or, or, or is it? Is, is, is the, the nipple supposed tattoo? to be the eye? <laughs> yes. I'm like, I'm like, what? And 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 the nipples crying like. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so it's so it's, overdesigned. Yes. It's it's just yes. it's just too, know, like the, the other eyes the all seeing eye right above it. <laughs> he took yeah. it out. Like, real, 
like really they 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 didn't learn anything from like how from how much um the Jared Leto Joker got mocked. You know, the crow in all different like you know, even though there's multiple iterations, it was always a pretty straightforward design. You know, um, we didn't need all the tech, all the tattoos. And, and, you know, what really rubbed me the wrong way was the director, Rupert Sanders, who I was actually on board with this guy directing because I like him visually. He did like Snow White and the Huntsman and, you know, um, the, the Ghost in the Shell movie, which I movie wise, like story wise, I didn't really care for, but like visually, I, I liked it. So I was like, oh, you know, maybe from a visual standpoint, you know, they set him up with like a good script and they had a pretty good actor in Bill Starstard. Um, you know, I, I kind of was willing to give it the benefit of the doubt. But, good job, I'm a bad but, uh, <laughs> Takeshi Crow, Crow 9. <laughs> Takeshi Crow 9, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, he looks like, he looks I, like I, Robin. <laughs> Robin got caught, and he's dressed up as the Joker. Like, he literally looks like this half is, is Robin, and this is, like, Jared Leto's Joker. Like, it's it's awful. It is really terribly designed. I don't know what the hell they're thinking. It's too much. You know, we didn't need all the... Te- like, the director actually went on record. I was reading up on it yesterday. He actually said that he drew inspiration from people like Post Malone and Little Peep. And, and you know, that really told me all that I needed to know. So Wasn't gonna like, be a SoundCloud rapper? Yeah, actual like rock stars or like you know punk rock or whatever like that. Like this, this, this isn't it. Post Malone. I'm sorry, you know, like I'm sure he has he has some good songs, you know, whatever. I don't know. Post he's Malone not a rock star. He's not, you know. <laughs> Post yeah. Malone that made those the choices, uh, those bad choices because of of of, of wealth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I feel like it's I feel like it's really gonna date the movie. You know, um. Mm-hmm. Even though the movie, even though the um, even though the ninety four one, you know, you could argue that it is very nineties, um, but it's still um, it's not like rooted enough in its time to where it doesn't hold up today. I think it still holds up today. I think if anything, rather than it being influenced by goth culture more than anything, I think it kind of had a heavy hand in influencing goth culture and hot topic culture, whatever yeah. you want to call it. Yeah. Um, you know, the, I, 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 I think I did that. Uh, uh, say what? I oh, think broke up. Certain, I'm sorry. Certain bands are really, that did that to, you know, the email. Yeah. I mean, you know. yeah, yeah, definitely. And, you know, look at the soundtrack for it. <laughs> um, but I, I think this is gonna, this is gonna, you know, you're, you're influ- you're influencing you're influenced by SoundCloud rappers and you know like stuff like that. Like really? Yeah. Um But what it's made the first so, so great was was like you said the simplicity of it. It was just like the dude threw on some makeup and just just black clothes. Like it, it didn't need to have all this nonsense on him. You know what I mean? Like like the yeah, makeup just, was his expression. It wasn't like, oh, I got a, a chain that's broken because you know I broke free. I was like, that's fucking stupid, man. Like, <laughs> like Yeah, it just comes it just comes off as heavy handed and try hard. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, and it's it's a shame because I was I was on board with the with the idea of Bill Star Star playing this character. You know, he um I think he has like the right build, even the right look for the part, you know, from physical. Heck, we just watched the trailer for Boy Kills World. So he has what it takes from a physical standpoint, I think. Um, you know, it's it's just this, just really it, it's it's not, you know, in that interview that I mentioned as well, it, it it's enough for me to be like, yeah, I d I didn't want to pay money for this. Yeah. Given son of Jared Leto's Joker, yeah, he literally it looks like he has a lot of confidence going out there like that. Like he just yeah. look, he just finished listening to Nirvana and he's like putting on his stuff and he's ready to go and it's probably eighty degrees outside. That's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is the kind of guy who's like never even heard of Nirvana. Like who's that? Like no. that, that. This is yeah. That, that's no. That's well, well. Lil Pump is this dude's hero. 
Um, leave a comment down below. Let's know what you think about the first look at the new crow with Bill Skarsgård. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Um, let us know. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and come and join us every Monday and Thursday. Talk movies, TV, uh, rumors, leaks, all that fun stuff. So come and join and be part of the spoiler crew. Thank you guys so much. And if you're watching live, stick around. We're going to move on to our next topic.